Hi, Scrubs. I hope you're well. So we're back in Rival Stars. So let's see what our goals are. So we've got keep racing. Uh, we had to place first in Pearl River, race two, and win 40,000 races, which I have done. Okay, the storehouse is full. We need to go manage that real quick. So I need to upgrade this anyway, so we'll do that upgrade and that'll sort that problem out for us. Okay. We now have 300 in terms of space in there. We've added a new equipment shed to the concrete area for all the gear. Okay, I've got income to collect as well. Okay, now I think we can collect that. Nice work out there. You're resembling your father more and more every day. Both he and your grandparents would be so proud of you. Okay. Um, collect those as well. It's good that we can take advantage of the good weather. The ranch is so big, even I can't hear the noise at night. Okay. So that's all of those done. Um, power training. So train speed 16 times, train sprint energy 16 times, and also for acceleration. I want to make sure that I do not mess up like last time, where we trained a horse and ended up having to train another horse. So I'll probably try and train over a few horses to do this. Um, we've also upgraded the training facility a couple of times. We're going to just go ahead and do that for everything, basically. So, upgrade. Okay. Our horses will be happier with a bit of sun protection. And then we've got this bit, which is also installed new doors to keep the interior cool. Okay. And then finally, what's this one? Now we can train our horses without worrying about sunburn. Okay. What daily ones have I got here? Okay. Distance learner. Train speed three times. That'll be done whenever we go to do some of the other goals. So I'm not worried too bit about that. Like that. With everything that's been going on, I only now got around to calling my aunt. It was a weird call, to be honest. She tried to get some insider race info out of me. I think she was joking, but I really hope she's not in any trouble. Hmm. Okay, so we need to group breed or buy a grade 5 or higher horse. Uh, breed three horses. Upgrade a full stall to tier 10 and then training. So we've got quite a bit there to do. Uh, let's upgrade all of these stalls to start with. I made sure to race a lot, so I had over a million. Because I figured if I need to breed a bunch of horses or anything like that, it would save me a lot of time. Okay, where's the last stall to upgrade? Okay, so that's three stalls all upgraded. So max horse grade 6, chance of higher grade 22%, and breed horses up to level 10. Right, collect that. The new vet is already making a huge difference. Okay, that's not done. Okay, so we've got training to do. These, I'm going to train over, as I said, over a bunch of different horses because I really don't want to be in that scenario where, oh, I need to train a horse to level 25 and then I have to train a horse all the way up. So we'll train a bunch of different horses here. Anything that we can train. Um, just up a bit. This is purely just to get that kind of done, really, more than anything else. Um, whether we use any of these horses for racing or not, right now I'm not particularly too worried. So we'll be able to train this one to max. Uh, level 9 right now. Sword Star was one of the ones that I kept because I quite like the coat, but I really wish it had been a black and white horse. I really think the pattern would have looked really nice. But we ended up with a chestnut, so there's nothing really we can do about that. Okay, we have those first two speed and sprint done, so now just acceleration to do. I believe they've added some new markings as well to Rival Stars, but I don't know if we'll be lucky enough to see any of them when we try to breed. Right. Okay. Done. So, let's just go have a quick look here. So, we have eight more to do with this. Daily, this is done, so we'll grab that. Okay. No. Eight more. Hopefully we should have enough horses to do that with. That one can be trained up three times. Could just finish training Ultimate Revenge as well, but that would only be once. Okay, that's that horse up to max potential. That horse cannot go any higher than that. Um, right, we'll train Crocodile a little bit. 
This isn't going to be enough, but maybe if we breed a new Thor, we might have a little bit of a chance. Because I really just, every time I've ever trained a horse, I always end up training the wrong one and then having to train another one up behind it. And it usually ends up costing me a lot more. So I just kind of want to avoid doing that from now on. Okay, four, five, and four. I don't know if I have enough of these. Not really. Because one of these horses is going to be one of the horses that I'm going to train the rest of the way to probably do one of those. I know we could race somebody here to unlock a couple more, but we do need to breed some horses anyway. So I think we'll do that and we'll see what we end up with. So if you breed three horses, which we can do because we have all three stalls. Okay, so let's see. Out of all these horses, I need to figure out what would be the best ones to work with. Okay, so here we have Single Sparkle, which is a 53, 53, 53. This is a near perfect five, but it is not a perfect five. I don't think we have any perfect fives. Sword Star is pretty good, but not a perfect. Um, yeah, no, we don't have any perfect fives. Sword Star is literally the closest we have. Um, we'll try Fiery Flame on this one. We'll also try Single Sparkle with Fiery Flame. And then finally, even though I try, um, I don't know. Um, I will try them as well. Right, well, we have nine minutes or we can skip. Right, I'm going to skip these. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's actually really cute. That does look like a new marking, actually. That face marking, I don't think I've seen that particular one before. Um, not amazing stats, but not bad. Right, we need a name for you. I quite like that one, Rainy Heart. Okay. So here is Rainy Heart. Oh, you can't really see their markings now. At all. Now that they're bigger. Can I add more horse stalls? I can. Okay, we can only have one more. Um, Murky Moon. Was Murky, Murky Moon was a mare. I think I bought you, didn't I? Yeah, I bought this one. This one I'd maybe try breeding with something. What stallions do I have? Um, Fictional Face. Crocodile Choir. Fairy Flame. And Dapper Rain, but Dapper Rain's too low, so we're not going to go there. Let's try uh, Crocodile Choir. Right, I'm going to try you with Murky Moon. See if I get anything. Uh, right, Breed Horse. Okay, Crocodile Choir and Murky Moon. Breed. See if we get anything interesting out of that cross. Right, let's have a look here. Okay, that's done. Yet that is one powerful horse. I may even impress myself. Okay. And then we have Surf and Turf. Race your rival at Breaker Bay and place third or better. Still have those to do. Have I any chance of beating you? Is the real question. Not really, no. Hmm. I can guarantee if I like train up my horse, this is gonna end up being like, you need to train a horse to level 25, and I'm gonna be like, ah! So, I don't really want to do that. Um, collect those. Okay, story. Okay. Let's go back to this. Um, right. I mean, th these aren't too bad. I mean, I saved up a million from races for this purpose. Oh, a bear. Okay. Oh, it's Ravicano, though. Hmm. It is... If this was... A, it's a six, so it should be 57, 57, 57. It's not amazing, but... I don't know if I'll keep this one, so I'm just going to insta-grow it. And if I do like it, I'll keep it. Um... Hmm. Don't think I. Pro well. If 
I was going to sell somebody, who would it be? We've had Dapper Rain for a really long time. I think it's time that we do sell Dapper Rain, possibly. Um... Hold on, who is anyone out of this one? I think it's time to say goodbye to Dapperian. Thank you, Dapperian, for everything. I really like that coat. It's just I don't want chestnut. Because chestnut seems to be like the most common colour in this game that's really hard to get rid of. Um, I'll keep this horse just for the moment, just in case I have a sell horse goal, because that happens to me too sometimes, right? Um, okay, let's see what sword star produced. This will throw a chestnut more than likely. Yep, there you go, chestnut. Okay. Oh, Rabicano though. Um, once again, though, it's not a great, uh, sorry, not a great, uh, six. I don't want more chestnut horses. Chestnuts just are so easy to breed in this game. And bears as well. Right, we'll collect that. The visit went well. The consultant was quite impressed. Okay, so crowd pleaser, still a horse with a middle position preference. I hope I have one that has that. Um, I hope it's one of the ones that we just bred as well. Right, you have a middle, you have a back, and you have a back. Great, both of you are not the horse I need. Um, maybe the market has one. That's cheap. You want back, you want front. Darn it! Let me refresh this. Can one of you just have a, like... It is a middle position preference, isn't it? Yeah, middle, middle position preference. Right, well, we're just gonna try refreshing a couple of times here to see if we get something. I am not paying that much for you. No, that's far too much for a horse that I'm gonna instantly sell. Same with that. Can I just get like a low horse that likes to run in the middle? No, apparently not. Ah, all these horses. I'm only gonna look at this one. This this one on the side, because it's usually the cheapest. I like that horse actually. Um it's not a great three though. It's not a three star. Uh back as well. Oh, that horse there was really nice and I just missed it. Darn it. Middle. There we go. Alright, I suppose I'll have to sell something else first. Uh, where's Behemoth? Alright, sell. Then, just double checking that it's definitely a spy horse. Okay. And then, straight back. And sell this one. Where are you? Victory Keeper. Right, goodbye, Victory Keeper. Right, okay. Collect that one. I think the bar will be quite happy with this horse. Sad to see it go myself. We had it for like two minutes. Right, press. First to kill Dare race three, and first to kill Pearl River race three. Right, we'll kill Dare. As uh, this is kill Dare race three, right? Ah, uh, this horse can Sparkle can easily win this. I'm just gonna literally have Sparkle do it this way. There's really no need. Right off you go, Sparkle. Okay, good job, Sparkle. There we go. Got us some cash as well. Right. First at Pearl River race three. Pearl River race three. Okay. Doesn't like the track preference, but I still think this horse. I think Sparkle should be able to do this, no problem. So we'll send them off to do that as well. And Sparkle did it again. Good job, Sparkle. Alright. Okay. Collect that. It's good to see we've gotten. We haven't got too cocky. We'll just keep fighting the good fight. Okay. Sell a horse to the speed stat of 112 or above. 
Right. Uh, 111. Typical. 115. 112, of course, is fictional face. Couldn't have been anything else. This is so typical. This is literally so typical. I can't even with this. Maybe with a wee bit more training, I could get you. Maybe even sword store, possibly. We have to sell a horse, so. Ah, this is so typical. Right. Um, it is a speed stop. Yeah, 111. That's so typical. Just short of that, and this horse can't go any further. Um... Fictional... Fictional face. Does meet the requirement. Ah, I don't want to sell Sparkle. Hit these goals, right? <laughs> okay. It's like the game knows, and it's like, oh, what can I do now? Right, um... Well, we'll try and do the training one. Maybe we'll be able to train something else above this. Possibly, if we're lucky. Um... Hmm. Maybe go race one of the horses. And then see if we can get something trained up a bit. Go with this for now. Okay, so I've done a bunch of racing with Crocodile and I've managed to train him up a couple of times so we can collect that. The team's looking great. TJ, I was going to say, it was really lovely running into you and Brandon the other day. You guys make a nice couple. Oh, thanks, Sophie. I was getting around to introducing him to everyone, but, you know. All good, mate. No biggie. He seems nice. Okay, so... Didn't get a new one, so I'm hoping that these are the last two that we have to do. So, sell a horse with a speed stat of 112 or above. So, what I'm going to do before we do that is I'm going to get a couple more horses bred to. Um... We'll collect this one first. Alright, what did we get? Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god, I love that. Okay, skip to mirror. A name for you. Enigma. Enigmatic vampire, I like that. That's so pretty. Okay. I is, I'm, I'm happy with that, actually. Yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with that. Right. Um, so, I'm going to breed a couple more to Crocodile Choir, and then I'm going to sell Crocodile Choir, because that's the horse that's going to fulfill that requirement for me. We're going to try Murky Moon again with that, because that was quite a nice cross. The stats weren't great, but I'll forgive it for that, for the colour of the coat. Right. Murky Moon, where are you? Okay. Cross them. And then we'll try. See if we can get something different with that. And then. Suppose we'll try Sparkle with you. See if we get anything interesting. Right, so that's all of those used up. So now we just need to sell a horse. So this one is going to. The crocodile because that will validate that one because we have some offspring from them okay let's collect that well I don't know if I want another pushy client like that at least the extra money made it worthwhile right okay so race your rival at Breaker Bay and place third or better okay Who's it gonna have to be? Well, Sparkle's currently busy. Level 21, 15, 15, 16. Um, 
Fictional face would probably be the better of the two. Uh, so I'll train it really, basically. Uh, right. Fictional face. Let's train you up a little bit more. Gonna have to do, I think, a couple of races with uh, fictional to try and uh, get them up to the point that they can actually win against him. Because right now I don't think they've got it in them. So I'm gonna just do a couple of these with them to get them that we can max them out and then take them in against the rival. Okay, so I've done a bunch of racing with Fictional Face and uh, we literally cannot train this horse anymore because it requires a speed facility upgrade. So we're a little bit stuck there. Um, I'm hoping that we can maybe beat Richard. I don't really know right now. Uh, hmm. This is not ideal conditions for us, I don't think. How fast is this horse? Nah. I think if we could train our horse like once more, we'd probably have a better shot at this. Could try replacing your skills with something that would give us... Uh, charge two sprint units. Would it be that or... Hmm. We'll equip that. We'll see if that helps us at all. I don't know that it will. Uh, I don't even know if we'll make top two, but might as well. We'll try a bet and we'll see. Right. Here goes. I don't know that we're going to do this. Uh, I really, really don't know. I don't know if Fictional has it in them to be able to beat Richard in this. Alright, we need to get a good start to start off with. Okay, we did. But, uh, yeah, we don't really have the advantage this time, like we have a few times in the past. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, where is he going? But he's literally right over there. So he is. Ah, uh, I miss having front runner horses. I really probably should pay more attention when I'm breeding to try and get some. Because uh, my charge bar is all the way back there. If I can kind of sit on his tail a little bit, might be okay. Don't want to be too far behind though. I'm kind of sitting on the charge bar right now, but I'm also really far behind. Which is not really what I want. Hmm. I don't think we're going to beat Richard this time. I think he's going to kick our butt. We're going to lose, and I'm not going to appreciate it. It's not really Fierce's, well, Fictional's mistake. It's more a case of just maybe wasn't the right horse for this. He's the best horse that I think we, we have a trend right now. There are better horses that I have bred, but... Right. I'm going to go a little bit early in hopes that I might catch him. But I think this is... I'm gonna lose this. He's, he's even overtaking us, even on this. Yeah. Nope, had no hope, had no hope. He's gonna gloat so much, he's gonna be absolutely... Yeah, I told you you wouldn't beat me. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I'm not surprised. Well, at least I can max you now, but I can't because I can't. Remember to collect your rewards for completing goals. Because I literally need to do an upgrade to training facility. Now you're starting to tick me off. What? You literally beat me. I, th I was expecting, you know, to rub my face on it. Funny, you do the same to me. Well, you know, that's how it goes. But we have leveled up to level 11. Uh, we've got new goals available, uh, we've got a new location and new customization options as well. So we've got quite a lot of stuff there, we've trained something 20 times, that's a lot of training. We can upgrade full stalls, training facilities, homestead as well. Um, I did actually put some foals in here to breed. Uh, well some mares. Right. Um, I can actually add some more stalls now. 
Wait a minute. Available four, so lost complete more gold. Okay, well we have two empty ones. Uh, let's go collect this one from Murky Moon and see what we got. Oh, that's really cute. That is really cute, I like that. Is that Rabacano? Um, it's a five. So it's not it's not a great five, but it is quite pretty. Samurai Adventure Stubborn Pony. Um Poltergeist Captain, I quite like that. Let's have a look at you. Are you Rabacano? I literally can't tell because the horse is so pale. But your name suits you. Um Are you better than Rainy Heart? 53, 52, 54. Uh, 4, 1, and 2. You're not, but the one thing you do have in your favour is the fact that you're a front runner. I've been looking for a front runner for a while. So I'm not going to rule that horse out, actually. Uh, that one's still in progress. Right, let's go collect this one. Oh, spotty, the white face, Colt. Um, it's kind of a per five. That is quite a per five. Fictional fury. <laughs> it's kind of like fictional face, but don't think we'll be keeping that one. That one's just a little bit too low, and it's also back position. I want to try and fix the positions going forward. Um, Alright, we'll skip this one because there's only a couple of minutes left on it. We'll probably have a chestnut. Oh, a bay. Okay, well, not what I wanted either. Is Rabacano again? That's actually not a bad six, but it's not... Actually, no, because it's, it's not... It would be... It would have been a good five, but it's a bad six. So, we're not even going to worry about that one. You're just going to get sold, because as much as I like Rabacano, you're just not what we're looking for. And it's also a very soft track preference as well, so not really what I'm looking for. One thing I want to do, though, um, I'm not going to work on any more goals right at this moment, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go out here and have a look at the horse creator, because I have a funny feeling there are new uh, markings and things, so I want to take a look at those. Okay, we're going to go into the creation hub here. Okay, horse creator, let's have a look. Because I'm pretty sure there are new stuff in the appearance. I don't know if there's any new coats. Don't think there's new coats, but let's have a look at the patterns and see if there looks like there's any new patterns. That looks new. Appaloosa fade. I don't think I've seen that before. That's pretty. Blanched apples we've had. Splashed apples we've had. Clouded apples. I think we've had that. Snowflake apples. I think that might be new. I haven't seen it before. That's not one I've had before. Half splash. I think that might have been there. Fading. Lacing fade. There's definitely some new ones. Like, look at the belly leopard. Lavish leopard. That was there before. That was there before. That was there before. Not sure about that. That, I think, was. I think that was. I think that was. Not sure about that one. There are a couple of new ones in here. Twin Pinto. I thought that said Twin Potato at first, actually. Pinto Peak. Uh, Slant Pinto. Lavish Pinto. Pinto Stripe. Band. Fade. There's the Rabacano. Rabacano Fade. Smoky Sabino. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Snowcap Appaloosa. Splash White Face. Flare. Nape. Bird Catcher Spots. Blotch Spotting Leopard. And black to Opelous. There's definitely new ones in there. 100%. Some new markings in there. Um, some of these, these are ones I've seen before. The Bodger Face. The Wide Bodger Face. I, don't know if, I think the Wide Bodger Face might be something I haven't seen before. Um, smooth Blaze. Curved Blaze. That one looks new. Smoky Blaze looks new. Some of these are ones that I have seen before. That I've not seen before. But yeah, no, there definitely is some new stuff in there. And then obviously ones that we've had before. 
Um, I don't know if there's any new leg markings. No, I don't think so. Those all look to be the same. But yeah, no, there's definitely some new coats and things like that, which is really, really interesting. I really like some of those coats that I saw. That's like a really interesting one. So it is. There's quite a few there. I don't think there's any like new colors so much though. I'm pretty sure most of the colors are ones that were already there in the past. I don't think there's anything particularly new in that line. But yeah, no, there's definitely some uh, new different interesting colors which are really, really interesting. I really like. There's some of the pinto coats are really, really lovely. Um, that's really, really interesting, that one. But yeah, no, there seems to be a couple of uh, new ones in there um, as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get some on some of our foals in the near future. But anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day. Bye-bye. Uh,